Hey guys, this is Emerald Fire. Today I have for you a set of functions that allows you to teleport to coordinates that are specified in scoreboard objectives. If you look in the right hand side of my screen, you can see an objective called score TPY, which is one of three. There's one for X, one for Y, and one for Z. All you have to do is set the scoreboard objectives and then run a function to teleport either to an absolute coordinate, like Y equals 10, or a relative coordinate, as in 10 blocks up from my current position. I have a few demonstrations here to show you that. First, I will set my Y score to 70, and then I will teleport to an absolute Y location. The way you specify where you want, uh, what coordinates you want to teleport to is by calling function score TP, and then say I want to do absolute Y, I'll just put Y here, and that will do it. So calling this function will teleport me to Y70. So I'll press this button, and if you'll take a look at my F3 screen right up here, I went to 70 and then I just fell down. I also have for x and this one is going to use the relative coordinate. So I'm going to set my x score to 5 and then I'm going to teleport 5 blocks into the x direction. So I'll look over here, this is positive x, this will teleport me 5 blocks to that direction. So I'll press this button, now I'm over here. And if I press it again, now I'm over here. A neat feature of this is that you can combine these coordinates to teleport in multiple directions in the same one, so you don't have to do y and x separately. For this one, I'm teleporting to an absolute x and a relative y and a relative z. So I'll set my x score to negative 283, my y score to 10, and my z score to negative 1. That will teleport me to x equals negative 283. It will send me 10 blocks up in the air and it will send me one block in the negative z direction. And I'll call that by doing this. So the way you call which coordinates you want to teleport to is simply by typing, say, x, y, z will be absolute x, y, and z coordinates. And if you want to change them to relative, all you have to do is add a tilde to whichever ones you want to be relative, like this. And now when I press this button, it will teleport me to those coordinates that I said. So I'll do this, and as you saw, I got teleported 10 blocks up into the air. And if you were looking at my F3 screen, I'll just come over here and do it again. It will send me to negative 283, and 10 blocks up in the air, so that'll be 66. And now it'll send me to around uh, negative 1582. Right, like that. And if you look at negative 282x, negative uh, 282.5, that's because it uh, teleports to that coordinate and then plus 0.5 just like rel regular teleportation so if I go TP uh, negative 283 um, and the same thing then it'll do that so I mimicked the teleportation of the regular commands and that's all there is to it there's a couple disclaimers though first of all this um, doesn't work in unloaded chunks for non-player entities so if I were to, ooh, let's summon an armor stand here. Yes, okay. So if I were to set this armor stand score, uh, let's do this. Uh, scoreboard players set at E type equals armor stand equals 5. And then we'll set its um, score TPY to 10. And then if I run the function as the armor stand, so it will be execute at E, uh, we'll just do at E, function score TPY, it will teleport me and the armor stand up by 10 blocks if I do relative Y, like that. And that works because the chunks are loaded, and since all Y are automatically loaded, then it will always work for non-player entities in the y direction. But if I were to teleport both of us to an absolute x coordinate, so uh, let's see, that would be x. Actually, let's not do me because that might actually load the chunks because I'm a player. So um, type equals armor stand. Oh, I didn't actually set its objective. Well, anyway, if you try to teleport this to a coordinate that's in unloaded chunks, then it may teleport some of the way there, but as soon as it gets into unloaded chunks, it will just stop moving. So 
only do x and z coordinates into chunks that you know are loaded. And that's for relative. If you're doing absolute, then just avoid doing that for um, non-player entities at all, because it has to teleport them first to 0, 0, and then from there it determines the absolute coordinates. So, yeah, only use the absolute x and z coordinates, uh, absolute x and z teleportation for players. And you should be fine. Right, so now that is it for this video. Thanks for watching. The download link for these functions is in the description, and I will see you all in the next one.